Harley Davidson's Poster is a line of motorcycles produced continuously since 1957. The XL1200 custom model, which we have the pleasure of reviewing today, is from 2011 with a little less than 4,900 km on the clock. Sportsters are powered by a 4-stroke 45-degree V-twin engine in which both connecting rods of the knife and fork design share a common crank bit. Harley-Davidson Sportster 1200 is a classic cruiser that is accessible to newer riders while providing the style and power needed to compete in urban environments. The torquey evolution motor has plenty of thrust down low, peak torque of 71 cams at 3500 rpm and that means needed acceleration is on tap at any engine speed. Harley introduced a number of upgrades accordingly. In 2004, all new frame including rubber mounted engine for decreased vibration, an enlarged rear axle to 1 inch for increased stability back in 2005, and in 2010 Harley relocated the ECU to allow more variation in aftermarket seat selection. Hi guys, um, today we are with Shaggy and what we're going to try, we're going to try and figure out whether this little beast is worthy of a joker, a joker, or maybe ace or is it the king? Ah, oh, that's that, that was oh, a good trick. Oh my god! Oh, this, that was that was that a, was good a nice trick. one. No, that's not a king. <laughs> that's not a king. I'm sorry, guys. The last one. The last one. Or is it a king? Is it this one? <laughs> I'm gonna. Got the ignition key. It sits really nice. It has a great height for people 5'6. We're 5'6, so uh, we're reviewing this for all the small people, Asians and uh, small white people, small black people. I don't care what color you are. Every everybody who's 5'6 or uh, less can sit comfortably on this bike. Ignition key is in the front, like all the Harley Davidsons. We got the Screaming Eagle Ruggin, that's the best sounding pipe you can have for this motorcycle. This bike, god damn, this is a nice bike. How much do we have in it? It's typical Harley Davidson, they never lock it. You need to film this shit. Oh, we got enough. I wonder how many liters they have inside. The typical of Harley Davidson is actually they don't lock, they don't have a lock for their for their tank. The fuel tank. I don't know why. So you can Just actually like in the Hollywood movies, they leave the keys in the cars <laughs> and stuff. I'm like, what the hell? Okay, where are my keys at? Alright, let's take the keys, let's start the puppy up, let's fill it up, we don't care. But somebody else can just come in and put some sugar in it. Did you try to put some sugar inside? Yeah, oh, but I think that the majority majority of Harley Davidson riders, yeah. instead of putting petrol, they just put whiskey in it. We can put some whiskey in it, though. I think that would some be a Jack great Daniels idea. Would be some Jack Daniels, some nice Jack Daniels. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna start it up, and we're gonna head off for a bit. I'm gonna be driving this puppy, and uh, we're gonna see if it fits my needs. <laughs> This is a nice bike. This thing has torque for days, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. And the sound. Did I tell you about the sound? Jesus Christ. Oh, now, now I understand what they mean about uh, driving a Harley Davidson. Take it out to the freeway, see how it performs. Oh my god, now this is a cruise machine, what I'm talking about. This is really nice, guys. If you really want to enjoy motorcycle life, I think Harley Davidson has it right. Your feet are relaxed, your posture is. Really what you want to have, you want to enjoy right? 
the motherboard. Uh, if you go to the left, you press the left, and then you have to press left again to cancel it. So I find it a bit awkward, a bit, not not that much, but a bit. Then the foot controls. If you're driving let's say harder than 120 kilometers an hour you will feel uh, that your feet are coming off the pegs somehow that's the only only thing I don't really like is the yeah I'm used to the Japanese bikes I think that's why but all in all it's all about getting used to right so if you're buying a new motorcycle, it's a totally new beast, so you need to uh, take time to understand how it works. The clutch, the clutch is always different, so especially for the young folks and guys that are buying new bikes, don't think only about the beauty, but also about the handling and the controls, because it can look good, but if the controls are not for you, such thing as uh, comfort here because you have a really nice backrest and I'm gonna tell you this is not so bad it's totally not so bad the last time we reviewed the GS 300 uh, the Indian uh, Indian Indian BMW that was that was that was horrible you cannot sit on that thing this one on the other hand you have a more comfortable seat it's not something you want to do for 300 kilometers on. The front cushion, I would change it. I would, I would change it to a carpet seat or something. Because for longer rides, if you want to do uh, touring, uh, I think you need to change the seat. But for in the city, uh, just commuting, this, this is good. That's the BMW actually. Did you see that one? It's a nice one. 400. Uh, when I was using the front brakes, 
front brakes are not that good. They're, they're not biting that well. Because, firstly of all, it's a single disc. Uh, it's not a Brembo. It's Harley Davidson own brake. And uh, I think somebody also mentioned it in some reviews uh, that I uh, was watching of Harley Davidson motorcycles because I'm always interested in, uh, in Harley Davidson motorcycles, but I never owned one. Um, the brakes, the front brakes, you really need to uh, squeeze hard to, to come from a standstill from 80 kilometers an hour. That would be, what is it, uh, 50, 50 miles an hour? Yeah. You cannot, yeah, you cannot, you cannot uh, mistake it for another mo motorcycle. So, yeah, if you really want to have a lively motorcycle that really gives you the feeling that you're on the road and really enjoy the motorcycle riding experience, I think this is better than this you cannot, you cannot get. So, those are my thoughts.